Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's do some post-game checking stuff. Oh man, another person that told me a tip about the capture challenge and make me think about... Well, okay, that wasn't much of a secret, but still. <laughs> There's a thing out that you should be talking to these people first, but nah, not that big of a deal really because, well... I already know how to get all the Pokemon you've seen on the sidebars, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's see what else they have to say. Yeah, it sounds good. Sounds good, yes, yes. I shall. Well, I probably can't be here the whole time, but the other Summerlin Rangers seem pretty... pretty reliable. <laughs> Maybe, that would be pretty nice. Perhaps that'll be a thing that can be done someday? Maybe, maybe, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> hmm, that is unfortunate. <laughs> and also, uh, keep in mind I'm gonna have to grab some more Pokémon uh, before I get on my Pokémon collecting spree. Uh, so don't worry, don't worry, I'll get into that when I get into that, you know after I get done talking with all the peeps here. Oh, gee, another person that wants to keep a secret to the capture challenge. <laughs> I think they're trying to protect the le Ranger Leader's scores. Hmm. Yeah, they kind of can. Hmm, yeah, that's probably true. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Moving on. Hmm, <laughs> what? What? Uh, oh. Oh, you're trying to sing to the background music. What? Are you breaking the ne fourth wall? That never mind, never mind. <laughs> There's only a couple more peeps to check out here. It's a much smaller area than the other ones. Uh, is it now? Is it now? Oh, I see. <laughs> Oh no, that's... I I think I that there's gonna be a clear winner here. Oh no! <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen, it's just funny. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I probably should, but uh, I kinda already did that. Sorry, but I kinda beat the high score and... Never mind, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Guess sort of, kind of. Well, I don't know about that. I'm, I'm, it's, you know, it's got a post game now and stuff and stuff. So, you know, I'm just kind of collecting Pokemon legendaries left and right. You know, no big deal. <laughs> okay, maybe not that many legendaries. But yeah. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Oh. Hmm. That could be useful, if only I would have known that for Ke Kecleon and Porygon. I mean, I'm sure I heard that dialogue before, but I kind of forgot all about that. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, we kind of knew about this. Yes, yes, yes. And there's no one else up here, right? Right, right. Oh, there is. Interesting. Okay, sure, why not? Let's chat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, well, it seems like when the call happens, he just steps up to the plate. <laughs> Moving on outside, I will flutter along, I guess over here. Yeah, sure, just this one building here. How's it going? <laughs> yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Yes, it was. Yeah, well, mm, yeah I guess <laughs> that all worked out. <laughs> mm hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> mm, Alright, now for the couple people on the beach. And then I'm gonna go back over to Fall City slash Ringtown to uh, get the Pokemon that I need, you know, around those sorts of areas. Just to see, you know, what else they have to say. Carefree music again, <laughs> fourth wall breaking again. Hmm, yeah, that's okay, doing good. Yep, yep, yep. Or maybe it's not a fourth wall. Maybe someone's got like a radio going or there's a band up on top of this ridge over here who knows who knows uh, i don't see a band but hmm, maybe it's the go rock squads band man never mind never mind <laughs> so yeah now i'm gonna go and collect some pokemon ivysaur is up first now for a little scyther action for a certain bush to get a certain typhlosion 
Next up, Swellow over here will do. Alright, let's slash that bush and get that Typhlosion. Shoot me back, please. Thank you, I appreciate it. Now, let's fly over to Fall City to grab this Blaziken. And now we're ready. <laughs> yeah, so basically I just wanted to get Swallow, Typhlosion, and Blaziken for the stuff that I would like to grab this part, so... Anyway, let's go into the jungle and see what is different throughout this place. Hint, hint, not really all that much. <laughs> so I'm just gonna be mainly focusing on the main spots that I need to go to in order to 100% the area. Especially since I got the ruins all peachy keen now, and isn't there a... No, it's not here, but I'm looking for a Meganium, and this Meganium is really interesting to catch. There it is! I knew it was at the bottom left corner of the left area. Now, this is why it's interesting to catch. It's got the solar beam, and uh, it's, you'll never be able to catch it in time, whoops, by the time uh, you'll do all the circles, because it does a lot of solar beams. But, here's the trick. When it does the sound, just- oh, oh shoot! <laughs> I ran, ran, just, uh, ran just out of line as it was- oh, I, I touched you. I ran just out of- ah, I can't speak. I ran out of line just as I was about to cross over. <laughs> Yeah, but well, that's the idea, is to get in as many circles as you can, and then let it do a solar beam, and then finish it off. I just kind of flubbed it there. That is okay, though. Woo! Alright. Uh, I guess we could take a peek see around here to see what has changed. <laughs> well, there's a Venonat. <laughs> it's not super important or anything like that now, but there's a Venonat. There's an Ariados. It's probably trying to attack me. It did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't think there's really anything super special about this area now. It's just, ooh, I mean, yeah, there's Beautifly now here, I, I guess. But we already kind of, kind of seen that at another area. So yes, <laughs> uh, I'm probably just gonna end up cutting ahead over to the uh, front of the ruins. Because, yeah, this is all pretty much stuff that we've seen, so yeah, I think it's time for a cut. <laughs> oh, there's Vigoroth! <laughs> so I guess that's where you went off to. <laughs> I forgot you were there. Alright, now for the ruins. Slacking is up hanging- oh! Slacking is up hanging around there, but I, these aren't- these two aren't what I'm looking for here. I mean, I guess I could grab them if I'd like, but what I came here with the Swellow for is, uh, 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 is, is, yes, the smelly flower. It requires the... Why can't I touch the swallow? Dang it. There we go! <laughs> so yes, the smelly flowers require a little gusting power, too, to be precise, and that's why I got the swallow there. So let's grab this gloom, and then we can consider the olive jungle 100% complete, because these are really the only things that are left. Um... Remember? Oh, geez, you actually got away from me. Uh, you know that fallen, well, that tree that we knocked down with the to help the Gorok Squad plus us get across and whatnot. Well, um, that tree for some reason is, is back up, and that, and you can actually knock that down and find Minky and Primeape on that side to re-catch if you'd like to. But eh, we already did that. <laughs> So, I am going to go all the way back over to the town, and I would actually like to be knocked off the edge here, thank you very much. And yeah, I'll see you back at Summerland. And there we are, look at that, the power of cuts. <laughs> so, now over here, uh, the mole as you've seen, you know, Ye Ole Aqua Mole is still here, which we can use to get over to the cave, and I'm gonna do this cave from the beginning, because there's something relatively near the beginning that I would like to, uh, yes, <laughs> that I would like to, uh, grab, namely a certain Expeloud, but, uh, we'll get to that when we get to that. In the, the but the main thing here that I'm gonna be doing, you know, just on my back tour back through this cave, is you know just to see what's changed. Basically, this first area, oh, not so many changes, but <laughs> there's other areas that have changes, and uh, this place is why I've got the two fire Pokemon. You know, the two triple fire Pokemon, I should say, because there's some triple fire ice boulder things, whatever the heck they are. 
And I gotta clear them in order to get to other Pokemon here. So, okay, that was a nice tour. <laughs> Uh, ooh, whoa, 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 no, 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 I, oh, every time I see a fighting Pokemon, it's like, yes, I am going to get you, because the power of double capture circlings is just super effective against everything. <laughs> it literally is. Uh, okay, we're good here then, yes, yes. Uh, what was over this, no, this wasn't, uh, I was gonna say, this wasn't the, uh, triple fire area. I think it was later on, both near the same area. Yeah, yeah, this was the Wobbuffet slash Polyrath slash Poliwhirl dead end area. Okay, I just got a little bit turned around there, but that is okay. <laughs> uh, I'm looking for Wismers now down here, hanging out. There's my Exploud. I just want to get him or her away from the pack. Because I think, ah, uh, yeah, I thought that was going to get in there. Oh, well, let's see how this turns out. Oh, oh poopers. Let's see if I can just get the Wismer. Oh, there we go. Oops, that was some precise circling. And, ah, it's not that hard if you're fast. But if you're not, you've got to circle around that, uh, yeah, the racket. <laughs> I wouldn't say impossible to do anything if you've got enough line length. Uh, oh, poopers. Uh, are you completely... Yeah, you are, just like the other ones in the family. So, I, I can't use them anywhere. <laughs> They're just there for the collector's sake, I guess. And, oh, uh, um, um, um... Uh, Dusclops, don't, don't you... Oh, I want you, though. <laughs> Anytime I see a fighting... Well, anything tank that's got a fighting Poké Assist, I should say. I am going to grab. Oh yeah. Alright. And also, I'm, I've got, I got other purposes for getting these Pokémon too. But, oh! But uh, mainly, it, it is for capturing other Pokémon. Uh, is there any changes in here? I don't believe there are. Nah, there isn't. So I might as well just use the uh, poop shoot to get myself out of here. <laughs> there we go. And... And no, you don't. No. Oh, oh shoot. Slippery, slippery, slippery. <laughs> that, that somehow worked out. Hey, Glalie's hanging out over there. Now, did you see Did you see that over there? Did you see that? Look at that. Look at that. Huh. Huh. Maybe we'll be doing something with that door. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Ah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, we are. Uh, anyway, I guess I will grab one of you. Because... You will come in handy and I'll swap out Gloom, because it doesn't really have uh, what I need for something big that's coming up. Let's just put it that way. So let's just drop you. There we go. And, and, and uh, we are good to go, I do believe. And this is going to be a pretty interesting sequence of events. Let's just put it that way. But first, let's go this way. By b burning this boulder here... Or whatever it is. <laughs> I am going to open up this, finally! Remember we were gonna come back through here? Well, we're here now, yeah! And, little crow bats are hanging out over here- oh shoot, well, that's better than being confused, I guess. <laughs> Aha! No sneaky snakes today. And, no, 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 going down here. Look at where- look at where we are! Crocodile tunnel! And there's this vine that's growing here now, that we went this way, that'll only grow once we go through that path. And yeah, this is back over here. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? But, uh, oh, I didn't mean to do that, but okay. But as you see, we passed by something next to that uh, newly formed vine there. Did you see this one here? It's a Torkoal! Yeah, Torkoal! Woo! You might have seen this ledge up here before, but we couldn't have any access to it before because that vine wasn't there. So now we do, and now we've got a Torkoal. Yeah, but unfortunately it doesn't have the firepower to burn the other one there, so it's it's just going to be here for semi-show, let's put it that way, I guess you could say. I definitely want to keep it for something just in case, but we'll see if I need to use it to pull something off. Man, stop it with that. 
Okay, you can do that too, I guess. But I was gonna say, stop it with the supersonic and just let me pass through. I don't want to get confused because that's by far one of the most annoying things. Well, poison is annoying too because it's really, it's really slow, but still. But still. <laughs> And now I'm gonna go flip-flop over here. See that? See that? It's just ice, so it's, I guess it's that. Oh, you touched me. You're, you're, you're not an aggressive Pokemon, but you but you, you, you initiated a capture. How, how could you have done this to me? How could you have done this to me? What? How, I thought we were best buds. <laughs> so yeah, it's just consider ice, not a boulder. Although I guess ice... Could be an ice boulder, you know, you know what I'm saying. But anyway, I'm gonna go grab this Metacham too, just in case. <laughs> you could probably guess that something big is coming up. So, uh, yeah, I'll just say it now because it's coming soon. <laughs> All right, there we go. And now, and now, and now, are you ready? Are you ready? Because right here we've got sort of kind of red herring here. These three holes lead to the slides. This one leads to where you want to go. So I'm gonna smash this one. Uh, what's... I'm just kind of curious here. What is under the other one? Is that another red herring or is it nothing? I guess we're gonna see. I just remember specifically that the right one there is the one that's the correct path. But I guess we're gonna see here in just a second what's under this one. Uh, nothing! What a waste of a Meganium! Delightful! And so when I plop down here, this is why I got that Ivy Sword earlier. I can use this to cross over the gap. And based on the floors and the positions of the floors, you can probably tell that we are about to drop onto the platform with the door. <laughs> And, sure enough, there's Regice, another one of these six boulders in a circle rooms. And, uh, Torkoal, as I said, may or may not come in handy here, because, you know, it's the fire type, fire beats ice. And, but I'm mainly probably gonna be using the Medicham, because I've got him. And I got the Raichu, you know, just in case. Let's go! <laughs> Woo! Battle time! And it zooms around the room thusly, and it, it can't be circled when it's doing that pound attack, you know, on the ground. Oh, I touched it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I touched it. <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of a tricky one to get because those ice... Yeah, that ice is always always seemingly in the way there. Oh, poopers. So uh, it's much easier when you can double circle things with the Metacham or some other fighting type or whatever. Uh, you think it would be like quadruple effective against the ice type, but whatever, whatever, <laughs> it's still double. Uh, but, well, what I could do is, uh, hold on a sec. What if I did like some distractions? Well, uh, maybe not. I was gonna say do some distractions to kind of stall him out or her out. Actually, it's genderless. What am I saying here? It's just stop, stop just hanging out in the middle of the ice. That, that, I can't do anything when you're there. <laughs> oh, but I guess that's the idea, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Okay, that's okay. Um, I'm gonna do this, and we'll see how this works. Oh shoot, stop with the ice, stop with the ice. And then I'm gonna do this, Steel X strategy type thing, and victory is mine. <laughs> it's a pretty powerful strategy, I've gotta say. <laughs> and there we go. And now the cave is 100% cleared out. So, I gotta get myself out of this cave. <laughs> and I think the shortest way is, yeah, it's still this way, actually. And then I'm gonna end off the part over at Windtown. Don't, I, well, actually, I could capture you. That would be, oh no, Dusclops got in with it. Uh, hmm. Oh, mm, 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 mm. Yeah, this is going to be a problem here, but I would kind of like that other Metacham, just for the sake of capturing things. So, yes, do the slam, and then I start capturing you. You, you know, you, we've done this before. <laughs> Woo! Okay, now let's get ourselves out of the cave, because there's no warping from this point. I mean, I suppose I could have ended off the part at the other save point, but, you know, there might be other things... Uh, that have changed in a cave. I don't think there have been any other changes though, in all honesty, but we're gonna see, I suppose. Jinx is hanging out here. This is the Steelix room that no longer houses a Steelix, alas. Alas. 
But yeah, isn't it interesting that Panela Cave con connects to Kraka Tunnel? I did not expect that on my first playthrough of the game. And we're out of the cave. <laughs> so yeah, that was indeed the quickest way out. I don't even know if the I'd be able to use the Aqua Mole again because you remember they say they only use it. Um, it only has enough fuel for one trip, and I just used it for the trip, so I'm not sure if I could actually use it to go back. <laughs> so, unless maybe they gave me an extra tank of fuel to take along with me or something like that. I don't know. I don't know, but what I do know is I'm going to end off the part here. So, I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part when I continue my poke collecting.